hello all welcome to tech designs so in this video i have taken a beginner sketcher exercise for solidworks 2023 in the last videos i have discussed about basics or understanding on solidworks as well as all the commands that is required in sketcher environment so if you have not checked that video i'll give the playlist link in the comment or in the description so you can just check those two videos before going to start this video so in this video i'm going to take two sketcher exercises you can see here this is going to be my first exercise and this is going to be my second exercise i'm going to do these two sketch exercises in solidworks so let's go to solidworks and start a new model so i'll just go to solidworks and i'll just hit new here and let me select a part and you can just click ok so once you are into a part navigator uh, you can see here uh, we, we need to switch to millimeter okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll just take any one of the plane and i will hit sketch so this will take you to sketcher environment okay so now let me go to see this model so you can so this looks very simple uh, sketch so since this is the first exercise i'm going to take it as a simple now you can see here whenever you start any new sketch i always recommend you to start with the circles so first create the circles whatever the circles that you have create all the circles and then give other lines and arcs okay so we are going to follow the same method on this sketches as well so now you can see here in the middle we have a 50 diameter circle and 80 diameter circle and also some circles over here so we are going to create all the circles now so let me go to solidworks and let me go to circle so here i'm going to select you know create a circle two circles okay and now right click and i will move up okay so once you right click and you can see here there are some commands which is a shortcut keys so these commands are depending on the workbenches it will change in a sketcher it will be different and if you go to part modeling and if you right click and hold it it will be different so this is completely customizable you can see here left in the top side there will be a smart dimension and the bottom there is a rectangle left there will be a line and on the right side it will be a view okay so these things will be customizable we can you can able to add 12 commands like this in a single uh, workbench so i'm going to discuss these customization in the future videos whatever the default commands that are existing in the solidworks we are going to use it okay so i'll just right click and go i'll, I'll go up and you are, you are going to see the smart dimension is activated so now i'll just select this and this is going to be 50 diameter okay so now again i am going to select this and this dimension is going to be 80 diameter okay so these are the two circles i have already created now i can see here these two circles i'm going to create so 22 and 40 diameter okay so now you can see as soon as i create these two circles they are completely black so completely black in the sense it is completely defined you can see our sketch is fully defined okay we don't need to give any dimensions for this so this is completely defined now so now i'll just go to circle and i'm going to create these two circles okay so these two circles activate the smart dimension and give it as a 40 and one more is 22 okay so you can see here one is 22 another one is 40 so even though if we give uh, you know 50 and 80 here this has been a uh, become a black color so fully defined but here it is you can see here it is still in a blue color it means it is not defined so some dimensions are at to give for these circles then only it will be completely defined okay the same circles i'm going to draw it on the other side so i'll just go to circle and two circles i'm going to quickly draw and then i'll just switch on the smart dimensions and it will be 40 diameter and the other one will be 22 okay so now once i go to drawing you can see there is a distance here 80 mm distance on the horizontal distance and 20 mm along vertical distance so let's give this dimension so i'll just switch on the dimensions smart dimension and from this center to this center it will be 80 mm similarly from this center to this center it will be 80 okay so now we can give a vertical dimension so this is going to be 
20 and again this side it is going to be 20 okay so now you can see here once all the dimensions are given so these two all the circles will be now black in color and our sketch is fully defined okay so now you can see here uh, all the circles are completed only thing is we need to draw these arcs okay so i'm going to create an arc here first so let me go to arc here and this time i'm going to select a three point arc and now the arc will be from this point to this point okay similarly this point to this point and here also this point to this and as well as okay so now you can see here there is a coincide you know constraint for every arc end but there is no tangency so we need to create a tangency here so how we are going to do i'm going to select this curve and this curve and give it as a tangent so this i'm going to make it for all the other curves okay okay so now you can see all the arcs are tangent and you can see here this has been moved okay so we can just drag it and keep it over here okay so now even though if we give tangency and coincide relations so this has not any turned into a black color so it means it is still need to give some dimensions so that is nothing but a radius you can see one is 94 and another one is 32 so we can just give activate the smart dimension and this is going to be 94 okay and also this is going to be 94 okay and here also this is going to be 32 and this is going to be 32 okay so now you can see here all the dimensions are done and also our sketch is fully defined so all the curves are converted into a black color and as well as you can see here in the bottom side it is shown as fully defined so it is nothing but it is completely defined so okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a second sketch so i'm going to make this as second sketch and i will just go to i'll just go to solidworks now so now what i'm going to do is i'll just finish this and let me create a one more part okay and i'll just make it as a millimeter and i'm going to select one plane and i'll just go to sketch error moment okay so in the same way the way how we have done in the previous tutorial so this also i'm going to create a circles first and then we are going to create a other curves and arcs okay so 30 and 60 so let us draw these two circles okay so activate the smart dimension so it is going to be 60 okay and then one more is 30 okay so these two circles and now you can see here there are two lines here so two lines with 60 degree angle and they are tangent to this outer circle so let us draw that so go to line and draw a line here and as well as a line here okay so you can see here this i'm going to delete and this also i'm going to delete so you can see here there is a tangent and as well as coincide symbol so it should be like this only so if you are not getting a tangent you need to provide a tangency here okay and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a center line here. So this is going to be my center line. Okay. 
and you can see the angle here between these two is 60 degree so i'm going to give activate the smart dimension and between these two it should be 60 degree and they are symmetric to each other so now what i'm going to do is between one line to this center line i'm going to give it as a 30 degree okay so now they have become symmetric to each other okay so now i'll just go to drawing and you can see here there is an arc here with a radius of 90 so i'm going to draw this so go to arc here which is a center point arc so this is going to be my center point and from here i'm going to draw an arc okay and just activate the smart dimension and this radius should be 90 okay so now we need to trim these lines so how we are going to do go to trim entities and trim to closest so these things i'm going to trim okay so once this is done there is an uh, radius uh, sorry fillet here 15 radius so let me go to ready fillet and enter the value as 15 and i'll select this edge this edge and i'll right click so this edge this edge and i'll let right click okay so now this is done so now only left is this is the slot so you can see here this is the slot and the radius is 57.35 and here this radius is 10 mm and the angle is here 63 so now what we are going to do is i'm going to go to slot here so center point arc slot so this is going to be my center point and arc will be sorry so arc will be like this and slot will be like this okay and i'm going to draw a line here so between these two this i'll just draw one line and i'll go to line again and there will be one more line these two lines i'll just make it as a construction line so this is required to give an angle so that's all so now you can see here this radius is 57.35 okay so just activate the smart dimension and go to here so this is 57 point three five okay and then uh, this radius is 10 mm so let's give this as a 10 mm okay okay so now even though if these dimension was given you can see here these two arcs are still in green color so how we are going to do there is an angle we need to provide so you can see here this is the angle 63 degree so we are going to provide this angle so activate this and between these two it will be 63 okay and from one side it will be 63 divided by 2 okay yeah so now you can see here our sketch is so our sketch is fully defined you can see here fully defined and all the dimensions are given so this is the way how we can use the sketches so as i already mentioned you so whenever you are creating a sketch please go through circles first so first create the circles and define the circles completely all the distance and all the diameters you need to de define and then go for other curves and arcs okay so i'm going to get a more complicated sketcher in the future video so so please stay connected with my channel and support me thank you guys